It is my privilege, then, to name certain passages from the Bible and examine the teachings of the ancients upon this matter, as the fact is incontrovertible that the first mention we have of slavery is found in the Holy Bible, pronounced by a man who was perfect in his generation and walked with God. And so far from that prediction being averse to the mind of God, it remains as a lasting monument of the decree of Jehovah, to the shame and the confusion of all who have cried out against the South in consequence of their holding the sons of Ham in servitude. The curse is not yet taken off from the sons of Canaan, neither will it be until it is affected by as great a power as caused it to come. And the people who interfere the least with the purposes of God in this matter will come under the least condemnation before him. I must not pass over a notice of the history of Abraham. If the principle had been an evil one in the midst of the communications made to this holy man, he would have been instructed differently. And if he was instructed against holding men servants or maid servants, he never ceased to do it. Consequently, must have incurred the displeasure of the Lord and thereby lost his blessings, which was not the fact. The conclusion I draw from this is that this people were led and governed by revelation, and if such a law was wrong, God only is to be blamed. Servants are bound to their masters with singleness of heart without murmuring. I do most sincerely hope that no one who is authorized from this church to preach the gospel will so far depart from the scriptures as to be found stirring up strife and sedation against our brethren of the South. Having spoken frankly and freely, I leave all in the hands of God who will direct all things for his glory in the accomplishment of his work. I subscribe myself, your brother in the Lord, Joseph Smith, Jr.